Okay, good afternoon. So we will continue on Mathematics 7, second quarter, module 32. So that is linear equation in one variable. So for our exercise, we will have our activity 3 for solving one-step linear equation in one variable. So we will do the following. Use the properties of equality to solve the equation and check your solution. And number two is write the solution in set notation. So let's have consider the one-step linear equation. Say for instance, I have here 5 plus x is equal to 11. So what will I do is simply, okay, subtract both side by 5, okay? So I have here x is equal to 11 minus 5, so this will give us 6. So x is equal to 6. Now let's do the checking. So if we will substitute, in the equation 5 plus x is equal to 11 so substitute the value of x which is equal to 6 plus is 6 okay so we have 5 plus 6 is equal to 11 so we found out that 11 equals 11 so therefore our solution set okay is equal to okay 6 so we can write like this as our solution set so it means that x is equal to 6, so this will make the equation true. Next, so let's consider x minus 18 or x minus 8 equals 9. So again, applying the addition property of quality, so I'll add both sides by 8 here. Okay. So x is equal to 19 plus 8 is equal to 27. Now, to do the checking, so again, I'll use the equation x minus 8 is equal to 19. Then substitute that x is equal to 27. So 27 minus 8 is it equal to 19. So we found out that 19 is the same as 19. So this is correct. So therefore, our solution set, okay. So this is equal to 27. So in numbers 1 and 2, I use addition property of equality. Now, let's move on to number 3. So I have here 9x is equal to 15. So what will I do is divide both sides by 9. So x is equal to 15 over 9. or we'll reduce this one in lowest terms. So x is equal to, let's find out. So divide both the numerator and denominator by 3. So we have 5 over 3. Now, to determine whether our answer is correct or not, so let's do the checking. Okay, so we have 9x is equal to 15. Then substitute the value of x, which is equal to 5 over 3. Is it equal to 15? Then, Okay, using the okay, factoring method, I can factor out 3 between 9 and 3. So, 9 divided by 3 is 3, and 3 divided by 1 is 1. So, we have 3 times 5 is equal to 15. So, truly, 15 equals 15. So, therefore, for our solution set, so this is equal to 5 over Okay, so that is for our item. Okay, next, let's have here x over 8 is equal to 4. So there are many ways to do this, but of course, the, we can use the multiplication property of equality. So if I have here x over 8 equals 4, I'll multiply both sides of the equation by the denominator 8. So I can have here, so 8 times x over 8 is equal to 4 times 8. So therefore, x is equal to 32. Now to do the checking, I'll substitute again. So we have x over 8 is equal to 4. Substitute x is equal to 32. So have 32 over 8, is it equal to 4? So 4 equals 4. 
so this is correct so i use here the multiplication property of equality so again our solution set So this is, okay, 32. Okay, let's move on. So this time I have 2x over 3 is equal to 12. So what will I do is multiply both sides of the equation by 3. So meaning to say 2x over 3 times 3 is equal to 3 times 12. So, I have here 2x is equal to 36. However, I'm looking for the value of x. So, divide both sides by 2. So, x is equal to 18. Okay, since I found, that, found out that x is equal to 18, so let's check that. Okay, let's substitute that to the equation 2x over 3 equals 12. Okay, so to do the check. So I have here 2 times 18 over 3 is it equal to 12. I can use the factor in between 18 and 3. So divide both the numerator and denominator by 3. So this will give us 6 while this one is 1. So I have here 2 times 6 is equal to 12. So we can say that 12 equals 12. So correct. So again, our solution set. So, this is equal to 18. Okay, so this is for, okay, the properties of addition and multiplication property of equality. So, this is only one step. Okay, this time, let's move on to, okay, a two-step linear equation. So, say for instance, I have number 5, I have 15 is equal to 2x plus 7. So first thing that I'll do is simply subtract both sides of the equation by 7. So I have here uh, 8 is equal to 2x. Okay. Since I'm looking for the value, value of x, so divide both sides by 2. So 4 is equal to x. 4, we can say that x is equal to 4. Now to do the checking, I'll substitute the value of x to the given equation 15 is equal to 2x plus 7. So substitute is 15 is equal to 2 times 4 plus 7. Let's find out. So this is actually 8 plus 7. So truly, we can say that 15 equals 15. So therefore, we have here, okay, for our solution set, the value of x is equal to 4. Okay. Let's move on to number 6. So number 6, I have 7 and minus 3 is equal to negative 24. So first, so I'll eliminate or I'll move first the negative 3 by adding both sides by positive 3. So I have 7m is equal to negative 21. So since I would like to find the value of m, so divide both sides by 7. So therefore, m will give me negative 3. Okay. Now to do the checking, guys. Okay, so we have 7m minus 3 is equal to negative 24. So again, substitute the value of m. So 7 times negative 3 minus 3 is it equal to negative 24. So we have here 7 times negative 3 is negative 21 minus 3. Is it the same as negative 24? So I found out that, okay, like this, uh, negative 21 minus 3 is negative 24. So which is the same as negative 24. So this is correct. So our solution set, okay, 
So this is equal to negative 3. Alright, so we combine actually the addition and, okay, multiplication property of equality. Next, here guys, we have negative 2 plus 5y is equal to 3. So I would like to remove first the negative 2 here. So in order to remove that, I'll add both sides of the equation by 2. So I can eliminate negative 2 plus 2. So I have only 5y is equal to positive two, uh, 5. Then divide both sides by 5. So y is equal to 1. Again, so we would like to check this equation by substituting. Okay, y is equal to 1 to the equation 2 plus 5y is equal to 3. So we have negative 2 plus 5 times 1 is equal to 3. We do not know yet. So we have negative 2 plus 5 is it equal to 3. So therefore, 3 equals 3. And this is correct. So therefore, our solution set for this particular item is equal to 1. This time, we will encounter, okay, decimal. So, like what we have done in the previous example, okay, we will apply the addition property of equality and multiplication property of equality. So, such that I have here negative uh, 4.2. So, instead, I'll add 4.2 to both sides of the equation. So, I have 1.8 plus, okay, 1.8 plus 4.2, so this will give us, okay, 6, which is equal to, okay, simply as x lang to, so we have x, 1x, or simply as, okay, then we have here 0, so therefore x is equal to 6. Now, if we will check this by substitution, so we have 1.8, is it equal to 1 times x, okay, minus 4.2? So we have 1.8 is equal to, okay, 1 times 6 minus 4.2, okay? So we have 1.8 equals 6 minus 4.2. So let's subtract. So we found out that, 1.8 is the same as 1.8. So therefore, our solution set okay, x is equal to 6. Okay, let's move on to this item. h over 6 plus 2 is equal to 2. So again, what we're going to do is to eliminate first the positive 2. So that is simply subtracting both sides by 2. Okay? So we have h over 6 is equal to okay, 0. Okay? Because 2 minus 2 equals 0 and 2 minus 2 equals 0. Now, I can multiply both sides of the equation by 6. So h over 6 times 6 is equal to 6 times 0. So I can eliminate, uh, or I can okay, factor out 6. So h is equal to 0. Okay? To check this, we will substitute the value of h, which is equal to 0, to the given equation h over 6 plus 2 is equal to 2. Again, 0 over 6 plus 2 equals 2. Take note that 0 divided by 6 is equal to 0, huh? not undefined. Plus 2 is equal to 2. So we have 2 equals 2. So therefore, okay, we can say that our solution set is equal to 0. 
So that ends our lesson on solving linear equation using one step. We can use either addition property of equality or multiplication property of equality. And we solve also the two step. We can combine addition property of equality and multiplication property of equality. Again, so this is Teacher Aon and Guzman. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified about my new videos. Thank you.